What's up with y'all, man? It's your boy, Protest Sports, and I'm back with another video. If I get to our to God, if I'm God and I'm right right now, God's up and do it for all you guys and you need pray, man. Today's video, we're talking Washington Commanders, man, and we're talking training camp as we are now in day 15 of camp. We're in the last week of camp. Camp does end Thursday. I'll be there the last day of camp on Thursday, but we're going to get right to today's video, and we're going to go ahead and see how camp went today. So we're going to look at all the clips from Zach Selby. I just want to put up all these clips and show you guys what happened. This is Terry McLaurin warming up for the day. This is the next. Let's see. No, it's not this clip. This the next clip here. Oh, crap. Is all the clips? I guess I saw the clips, I guess. Let's see. I guess I saw the clips. I can not see any other clips. No, no more clips. So let's start with these tweets here. Uh, Jeremy Reeves. I don't know. Is that the first tweet? Double check real quick. Yeah, that's, that's, okay, that's it. Yes, I start here. Uh, Jeremy Reeves ends the period with PBU on a pass from How to Eli Wolf. Just got off the ball to alter his uh, trajectory. That's great from uh, Jeremy Reeves. He had a really good game on Saturday as well. There we go. Terry Long gets being started today. That's some more tweets than that. So, yeah. Uh, John Bates and Cole Turner doing some work with our tight ends today. It does not doesn't look anything serious. Bates is in a ball cap and neither have shells on, but I suppose it's progress from working from the side field and eventually we're on the side field as well. So that's Terry McLaurin getting warmed up. Starting off, I just finished 11 on 11 drills. The highlight from this series was a completion to De'Ami Brown, who made the catch while keeping his feet in Browns on the right sideline. So I was told to hold you in Reeves play. Went in seven on seven with four of six completions. Complete pass to Terry McLuhan, Jahan Dotson, Imani Rogers, also Curtis Samuel. Nice, real nice run by Brian Robinson. Followed his blockers down the middle of their defense and broke them to the second level. I'm guessing this is with the ones. So Brian Robinson's with the ones. Interesting. The Army Brown had never grabbed this time against Kendall Fuller. So Four, a fourth catch by De'Ami Brown today. His time working with the second offense, the second-year wideout is getting plenty of looks today. So he looked really good today. Ron Rivera, Justin the media, he got a chance to zero in on some specific positions while watching the film on Saturday. He mentioned the linebackers and the young receiver. Also said the younger receivers are able to see how much minor details actually matter. So, you know, Rivera said it's very good to have Quinn back on the field. The offensive line was clear offensive line was cleared to practice after being on the NFI list for the first half of camp. Rivera let the rhythm for Wentz and Scott Turner got into on Saturday. Uh, Turner was on the sideline calling plays during the game. He's normally in the booth. And Rivera felt the direct communication was helpful for both of them. Well, that's good. I hope, I hope Scott Turner does that more often because that that, that communication is extremely, extremely important. Rivera t- thought John Allen and Deron Payne were very stout on Saturday. What we needed to do, they did it, which is they, they, they were actually very stout on Saturday. I'm not going to lie. So that's, that's his notes from training camp from today. And De'Ami Brown was incredible today. I was actually extremely impressed with De'Ami. Four catches, uh, three in uh, first-team drills, and one with the second team. He was extremely, extremely productive today. Also, Wentz was very solid in seven on sevens, going four for six. Uh, that's still 66% completion percentage, which is solid. Uh, two hour three passes have been completed, which is good to see. Um, really solid day from Wentz. A really solid day from Diami. I'm very happy to hear that this offense is still progressing and doing good things. Um, also, I like the way that Wentz spread, spread the ball around in seven on sevens with throwing one to Terry, one to Dotson, one to Monty Rogers, and one to Diami Brown. So that's pretty good. Another, another thing to point out, Jeremy Reeves uh, made a play today with the PBU, which is good. And uh, I like Rivera talking about the defensive tackles on Saturday with, with Deron Payne and Jonathan Allen being very disruptive and things of that nature. And I, can, I think they're going to continue to do that. Uh, for Darian Mathis had a really good day. I'm surprised they didn't bring him up during the press conference as well. And I think this is a solid day from both the offense and defense, but the offense is definitely growing and definitely getting better and better, which is great because his offense might be pretty good, because I don't know how this defense is going to look right now. The defense did not look good on Saturday. Uh, I had a game review. Uh, for Fortune, I deleted the video just because it's going to be kind of late, and we have a game coming up right 
around the corner. So I'll start doing the game reviews again starting next week. But yeah, great day from the team today. I'm happy to see it. It's the last week of camp. So after this, we had one more preseason game. Um, then we have the third win, which is the final one. But this is the dress rehearsal this week, man. So it's good to see the offense is clicking on all cylinders. Could be facing Patrick Mahomes this week and that uh, Kansas City Chiefs offense. So it might turn to a shootout in that first half during the uh, dress rehearsal. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Get done so. Also, turn on post notifications. Always catch a protest sports video at the Protect Sports Network. We just hit 2,300 subscribers today. Shout out to all of you guys subscribing to the channel. Uh, the giveaway will end tomorrow. I'm be hitting up my guy Ray from WSH on a daily. So if you guys want to go ahead and uh, follow him on Instagram, that will be great. And also follow all of the giveaway details down below. I'll uh, upload a short tomorrow about the giveaway. It'll try to be, it'll be under 30 seconds. So hope you guys go ahead and <clears throat> enjoy that. And I will be at camp on Thursday, the, the, the training camp finale at Ashburn, Virginia. So I will be there on Thursday. Unfortunately, I'll not be there with my dad. Um, He can't make it. So I'll be solo dolo. But I'll catch you guys on Thursday if I meet y'all. And you guys be easy. Have a great week. Have a blessed week. Put God first. Stay safe and stay healthy. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until next time, guys.